hello everybody welcome again to my channel so i did a video of recent which was on ways you can avoid peptic ulcer or ulcer in general but my main focus was on peptic ulcer so today what i want to talk about is a little bit of um a controversy i know it has been a, a problem over the years with so many couples and married you know you know it is about fertilization <coughs> or how you can avoid getting pregnant or reasons why it could be difficult for some women to conceive now i will do a part one and it has to be part i'll do part one part two you know i'll just break it down step by step and then it's going to be really interesting like i said my name is Luben. if you are new to the channel subscribe just subscribe hit the like button share also turn on the notification bell so whenever i release a video like this you can catch up so the first things first what i want to talk about is fertilization right why and how do you get pregnant now biologically it has been understood right that for fertilization to occur it means a male sex organ will have to come together with a female sex organ and then when they unite it will form another complete organism which is known as a zygote biologically it's called a zygote then from the zygote the, the embryo develops from the embryo the fetus and then boom you have a baby coming up but then you will notice that it has been a problem over the years where um, some women kind of find it difficult to conceive or to get pregnant and then some women don't want to get pregnant but then they don't want to go because there are so many uh, ways you can actually avoid being pregnant in terms of contraceptive um using a uh, sterile you know cutting off you know so many other way and then some women don't really want that one they just want okay how about i just have sex without a condom right but then using my menstrual cycle how can i avoid uh, uh getting pregnant okay or boy if i want to get pregnant why is it difficult for the ones who are finding it difficult to conceive there could be factors uh, uh, obvious factors you have to look at you know but you also have to you look for further uh, you know more advanced um, advice or more experience right so the more there might be factors factors you might be looking at now you have to look at the age of the woman the age variation you also have to look at their lifestyle right you also have to look at um which one again you also have to look at for the for the male you got you have to look at the sex drive too now let me start with the first one <coughs> this is just part one i'll talk about this one so for the age a woman from 35 above let's say from 35 to 45 then 45 above is menopause right menopause is at the stage which the woman cannot conceive it means all the eggs in her body are finished why when a female is being born, approximately they have about 500 eggs in their ovaries. So these eggs are being released every single month. So it is being understood by, it is being calculated that by the time they reach 45, most of, maybe, let's say all of these eggs must have been uh, exhausted and then that's it. But then you will still find it difficult there. There are some women at their 40s, they give birth. Some women at their 35, it, you might even be surprised that a woman who might be 38 or 46 might still conceive and give birth. It happens like that. So it's like that, that's where they, they, uh, it sometimes it gets tricky. But in not share in general, let's say a woman who is in her 45 is definitely menopause. You know, although we might have uh, different rare cases. But for a woman to conceive at 45 is very, very rare. Very, very rare. So now you have to look at yourself. <coughs> How old is the person? Is the person 35? Is the person 40 something? And then the, also, even if the person is like 35, right? They might still be able to conceive. The only problem is that child might be, be, be at risk of so many birth uh, defect. Because now when a woman is about 35, 40, they're about, even if she is able to conceive, the child might face probably a lot of, you know, birth defect and all of that and it's in it's at very great risk that's for the age different so you also have to look at um, the lifestyle some people's lifestyle can really really be a problem if you are that type that um, 
you know, the one thing is this, our inner body is, is like a friend to our outer body. You ever notice that whenever you get stressed up, whenever you are very stressed, whenever you are so tired and all of that, you, you, you don't function well. You don't even think well. You are not happy inside. It's more like you just, you are not just it. And then sometimes there's a way you feel inside that affects your outside. You could be having a very rough, you might be overthinking in your head, right? You might be thinking about stuff in your head. And then maybe your outer self, my, your mood might also change. So some people, their lifestyle compares them to face so much stress that even their libido, you know, the libido is like sex drive decreases, right? So what is, if, if a woman finds themselves in a situation like that, you also have to look at your lifestyle, look at your career. Are you the type that works from morning to 24 hours a day? Are you the type? So if you are in that category, what you have to do is just create that time. You know, you talk with your, your, your partner, then you create that time where you guys can actually come together and say, okay, let's agree on this, if this will work for us. And then, you know, just push, uh, choose the best time you guys can really <coughs> go with that. The, the, the third one is, the sex drive. This could also be a problem. And most people don't talk about this. Your sex drive could be sex is between two people has to do with. You know, when 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 talking about the husband and the wife situation, you know it has to do with not just going in and coming out. You know what I mean? It has to do with so much. There are so many emotions atta attached to it. There are so many, you know, there's just so the moment, you know, you just have to understand that maybe what works for you sexually might not work for the other person sexually. Or maybe the husband, what works for him sexually might not work for the woman. Maybe the, for the woman, what turns her on to a certain degree might not be the same thing for the man. So now, if the man doesn't know what the problem from the woman or how the woman's sex drive operates, and the woman still doesn't know how the man's sex drive operates, that could be a problem. Uh, it might even be that they might not even be mating. Even when they decide to mate, they might not really enjoy it. You know, they might, they, there will not be so much uh, uh, romance or so much, you know, um, emotions put into it. And it has to deal with that a lot. You know, so sex drive also is very important. And many people overlook it. And sometimes you notice that the tiny things we overlook and some, sometimes are the sub two bigger problems that we face. So the sex drive could also be important. You have to look at it. so how to go with the age, the lifestyle, the lifestyle has to do with your career and everything and sex drive. These three things must be really, really considered first. Now when you check these three things and then you discover that I don't have a problem with this, my wife is fine, my wife is this, my wife is blah blah blah. I'll still do a video that has to be okay, what other physiological uh, um, reasons could be that she's not able to conceive. Mm -hmm. Then from there, you can either go further with, you know, more experienced uh, uh, um, experts who are much trained in the field that can, you know, give you advice in terms of fertility and know how to do it. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Morgan again. Subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Oh. Hey.